fishy folks and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a review of this filter I've never seen before but I was searching through Amazon and I thought it would be pretty interesting. So grab yourself a snack and a beverage. Stand by. <laughs> Alright fishy folks, welcome back. Uh, before I begin the review of this bad boy, I just want to bring to everyone's attention, this is Mental Health Awareness Month. Check on your people. We're not always okay. Alright, let's get to the unboxing. I don't know anything about this filter. It has this, this thing that's supposed to, um, like, skim the surface for oily residue. I, I don't know what it's for, but I thought it was cool. It's about 24 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I have a suspicion I'm going to return it because I'm going to hate it, but you never know. It might, like, thrill me. Maybe. All right. It's a LaCroix. That's the brand. Lots of little pieces. LaCroix. I'm going to call it a China hang on back. Oh, I dropped something. I found it. Found it. All right. I'm going to call it a China hang on back China filter because uh, I know that offends people. No, I, that's just what I call it. Like, if you're offended, go to another channel. I, I don't I don't care. Um, I mean, it looks pretty. The instructions look pretty self-explanatory. I mean, I'm pretty mechanical and stuff. I was an auto technician after all. I could rebuild engines and stuff. Okay. So the inside has this, which I'm gonna look inside. All right, they just go together. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sure it comes apart, I'm positive, it's gotta come apart, it's coming apart. Oh, the whole back piece comes off, it's not a hinged unit. Alright, alright, so we got some fine filtration. I'm guessing this... This is considered biological and not actually mechanical because you don't really want the fine stuff on the outside, right? You, you want it on the inside so that it doesn't clog up the other filtration. But whatever, whatever. Uh, loving it already. High, high quality plastic. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. I really don't. It looks like the plastic... Oh, there we go. Just user error, putting it back together. All right, now we're cooking with gas. That's upside down. See, we got the little handle. It's got this little elbow and doohickey. Oh, the doohickey goes over the impeller, so let me show you that. See, there's the impeller and the doohickey goes over it. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this motor. So it's a little tiny motor, eight watts, 210 gallons per hour it says, and standard impeller, little pink seal, you may want to throw some, oh, there's an o-ring on the bottom of this impeller that I almost lost. Alright, well it goes on the shaft, gotta shove it on the shaft, put that down, put that in. Okay, I think that goes the other way though, maybe, yeah, like that, okay, all right, all right, all right, I guess we got to figure out how the rest of it goes, huh, lots of tubing and stuff, I mean, I don't know, let's see if, uh, if I can figure this out, so obviously this goes like this obviously I say obviously but I could be completely wrong but I think I was right 
right, like this. I'm gonna just check the instructions because sometimes you guys yell at me when I don't check the instructions. Not really yell, but are like, Mike, you didn't check the instructions. You, that's why it was so hard to build. I mean, does anybody really look at instructions? This is a real world review. Like I've never seen this. I don't know anything about this filter. It's made of the plastic, the soft plastic that shouldn't crack if it's dropped. So that's a plus. All right. I put the valve in, the little adjuster valve. Now we got a little T, and then another T, and then extension tube, and then this. All right, so we've got this T that goes like this, and then this T, which is the adjuster. It's got the little valve in it. So we'll connect those, line them up so my OCD doesn't kick me in my nuts. Then we got the extension tube, which, uh, yeah, extends it a good two inches. I mean, to some people, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. All right. Then we have this piece, which is the piece that I'm can't wait to try. It's got the, the doohickey on it. What's the doohickey called? The surface skimmer head. All right, and then it's got an intake sponge, which is nice if you're gonna have, and it's it's sealed on the bottom. So decent for fry tanks, I'm guessing. Um, I wonder, it looks like the porosity is okay. It's a little small, so it might clog up faster than we want. It's not, all right, I did get it on. I did have to lube it up a whole lot. No, I didn't. And uh, what, 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 what is this? I don't, I don't, I have an extra piece. I, I don't know. Oh, I guess I guess there's two. Maybe a short one and it, does that go on there? I know what you're thinking. Look at the directions. Oh, you could I have no idea. I literally have no idea what this is for cuz it doesn't It doesn't I I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Usually I make them up, but I I don't know. Maybe it's extra. Yeah, it's extra. All right. I'm gonna look one more time to see what that extra piece is. And I, uh, I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna go throw it in a tank. See what happens. Refill your snack and beverage, stand by. Hey, fishy folks, here we are setting up the filter. It didn't self prime, which I didn't really think it would because it had no water in it. I don't think that little tiny pump would be able to prime if the water was anything less than half full. Here I am uh, turning the adjustment knob to get full flow. Um, the little sponge filter on the end, intake filter, is neat. Um, here I am stirring up the detritus on the bottom of the tank to try to get, see if it will start sucking up debris. Uh, this filter is very, very quiet. I, I filmed some additional footage that you'll see at the end so you can hear how quiet it is. Also, like I said, the case is that soft plastic so it won't crack when you drop it. Uh, it's also very narrow, so if you need a filter that doesn't and you don't have a whole lot of space this might be an option however not so sure what a good job of actually cleaning the water it would be um, you could probably do some diy filter media but because the uh, filter material is in that those two rectangle cases it might be difficult uh, you can see here the detritus in the water isn't really being sucked up that well like it just doesn't seem that powerful i think the pump is underpowered and the lift tube doesn't have enough capacity to really clean the water uh, i think it's at 280 gallons per hour i would i would probably question that <clears throat> you can see here it's just it's just not really cleaning well um yeah i'm just pretty disappointed to be honest all right, folks, let's come back a little while and see how it looks. 
All right, folks, I just want to show you yesterday I started the test at 1024. So later on when you see the time, you'll know how long it's been. All right, you can see here it is 1244 on the 12th, which was Saturday. I'm sorry, which was Friday when I filmed this video. It's Saturday right now as I'm doing the um, voiceover. And you can see after two hours, it doesn't really appear that the filter has done anything. Um, I'm quite disappointed. So here I'm going to take the filter cartridge out to see is there any, you know, detritus or debris is caught in the filter media. There's none. Um, also, when you take that whole assembly out, you have to reprime it essentially. So uh, you'll see later on I take it out um, the right way. But yeah, uh, after two hours, nothing. I think an aqua clear would have cleared the tank in two hours easily. I do like this little notch that goes in that groove to line everything up. I wish aqua clears had that. I also wish aqua clears were this soft material, but they're not. All right, folks, let's see how we do. All right, fishy folks, we are about 23 hours after I put the filter in for the first time, and the tank isn't cleaner at all. This is a complete waste. Uh, I just want to show you, this is the filter, that's the front side, that's the back side. I don't really know if it matters, but there's really no debris on there. Uh, this filter, garbage, hasn't done a darn thing. So I will be returning it, and I certainly don't recommend it. It is quiet though, like listen. Very quiet, um, but garbage. So the Laqual, Laqual Hanging Filter HF800, do not buy. All right, folks, thanks so much. Have a great day.